In Thailand, anxiety and fear after a bombing at a popular shopping center. While one person was injured, there is concern the attack may represent a return of political violence. CCTV's Tony Cheng reports from Bangkok. An explosion and a cloud of dust captured on mobile phone footage outside Paragon Shopping Center on Sunday night. Initially identified as a faulty power transformer, the police later concluded these were in fact bombs. Although relatively small, they were timed and placed to cause the maximum panic and fear. On Monday morning, forensic experts continued to trawl for clues. This area is at the heart of the commercial center of Bangkok. And although the police said they had few leads, it was no surprise that violence had broken out again. We have been monitoring the situation since the new year because we had information there might be terrorist attacks. It was quiet until now, but we need more time to investigate. Thailand has been relatively quiet since the military coup, but last week's impeachment of Yingluck Shinawat saw the strain starting to show. Promises of reconciliation from the military government are increasingly implausible, and the red shirts are publicly starting to question their quiet submission to military rule. But this also comes at a useful time for the military. The international community has condemned the ongoing imposition of martial law. This attack would seem to give the army justification. Later on Monday, little new evidence from the police at a press briefing. Despite close monitoring all over this area, the bombs were placed outside the view of security cameras. Two suspects caught on tape, but their identities well concealed. So do the police think the motive was political? Now, now we investigate every, every cause, every, every uh, topic, every detail, but uh, right now we cannot uh, conclude. Just this is a disturbing start to 2015. The bombings took place last night just behind the Central World Shopping Centre here that was burnt down by the Red Shirts in 2010. In political violence last year, just 100 metres down the road, several children were killed by bombs. And many people are now concerned that after a brief lull, Thailand's political violence is starting once again. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Bangkok.